Nah, no shoot, shoot, two six, we got loose. Welcome in to Chase Field in downtown Phoenix. The show has AAA baseball for you. It's the Las Vegas Aviators and the Reno Aces. John Shambi alongside Chris Singleton. Well, Singy here in Arizona, and this is a ballpark where traditionally the ball has jumped, but a few years back they installed that humidor, and now offense has been neutralized a little. And I think hitters still, in their minds, believe that the ball does carry. And that can produce some confidence as you step into the plate for your at-bats. All right, we'll be back to get this one started after this. So just about set now. And today's starter, Connor Pilkington. Well, last year, kind of around the league average in terms of ERA. And you know what? That's why you have five different spots in the starting rotation. You've got to have people round things out. And not everyone's going to pitch like a number one or number two every outing or every season. But last year, he gave his team an years. opportunity and a the chance to win out. every time he took High the mound order. on average. And when you look at that kind of performance, it has a place on every ball club. Next oh, offering man. is down low. Now fly ball to right center. Lewis sizing this one up. Makes the catch. And there's one down. Let's take a look at our lineup. Their opponent on the mound today does run into some trouble finding the strike zone at times. So, Singy, I got to figure part of the plan, be patient, be selective today. Yeah, you know coming in, regardless of, you know, what that first inning is going to look like, you know his history. You don't want to help him out. You've got to be patient and make sure that when you attack, that it's a pitch that you can do some damage with. Otherwise, just build up some traffic on the base pass, push across some easy runs, and perhaps get into some of those gap arms in the bullpen. Right there, he does a great job of staying in the big part of the field. Man, there are a lot of hits there. And here's the first baseman, Jordan Diaz. The 1-1. One -one. Gets a piece and stays alive. And a one-two again. And that one upstairs. The idea was right. Looking to locate that fastball up and in. He just missed his spot a little bit. The pitch. Tipped into the mid strike three. Been a pretty rough start to this series for him at the plate. That Three strikeouts in the first game yesterday. Another one right there. Man, they clearly got a great plan Pena. for how to deal with this guy right now. Here's Manny Pena. And yeah, now two balls and a strike. Nice warm day here. Good baseball weather. Does that change anything, Chris, especially for the hitters? Absolutely. You feel so much more comfortable at the plate. You're not worried about you know, getting jammed on fastballs inside part of the plate. Uh, you can kind of be more selective instead of just looking out away so that you can get the barrel to it in that part and get on the inside part of the plate as well. And he deals. And now it's filled up. And Boog, hitters can be a little less aggressive on hard stuff in early in the season just because of how cold it is and, and not wanting to get a stinger. Now you think odds. In the dirt. Slings the first third out. And now a man into scoring position. So one hit is all they get. So it's on to the bottom of inning number one. No score. Back here at Chase Field. Getting the nod in this one. Ken Waldachuk. Well, he throws the change in the slider off the fastball. I really like how he's able to sell fastball but it's really change up and Lady keep hitters go. just out in front a little bit the swing and miss soft contact the slider as well comes out of the same no, tunnel no. all three very deceptive and hitters are going to have to stay back and make sure they get pitch recognition that one oh. misses two balls and a strike oh. 
And that one in the air center field. Thomas pulls it down, and there's one down. All right, let's take a look at the lineup. And stepping in is the speedy Buddy Kennedy. Here comes the pitch. Strike two. One and two. On the ground, right side. On to first. Yeah. And the home first moving along quickly today. Two Not gone. Either. Hey, man, four no pitches, pitches, two outs. That is an excellent pace. And now the right fielder, Haven Smith. The 2 1. That one pushed to the left and foul. Next one is off the play, and the count is filled up. On the ground, right side. And that one handled. Throws to first. That's the inning. On to the second inning here in the desert. No score. And welcome back. Here's the third baseman, Kevin Smith. The third baseman, number four, Kevin Smith. That one the other way, and that's just foul. And a one-two. That one ripped, and that's a base hit. Off to a good start with a leadoff nod. Well, that certainly feels good when you can win the at bat after being down in the count, up against it with two strikes right there. Nice job of driving that pitch the other way on a run. You know, hitters, they take so many reps in the cages working on going to the opposite field, and it doesn't always translate into the game, but right there it did, and he did it perfectly. And one and two. One ball. pitch and now the count is even with two strikes may see some movement over there at first base trying to stay out of a double play here swing and a miss struck him out he swung over top of the curveball. Well, classic pitch sequencing there to change eye levels for the punch out. That fastball on the pitch before was up. It was very competitive. And that gets you thinking that he might try to climb the ladder. But then the curveball out of that same tunnel just falls off the table and you can't make contact. Here's a speed threat. Lawrence Butler. And a pitch. Three ball, one straight. There's a strike. One way to make a guy real uncomfortable at the plate is pound him inside with good velocity. They're doing that right here. And a pitch. Swings and misses. And two away now. Well, interesting. He's looking very comfortable out of the stretch after giving up the leadoff single. Back-to-back -back strikeouts. So they haven't been able to move that runner up, get him into scoring position, and try to have a better chance of scoring. I tell you, good job so far on the mound. He just needs one more out. Now here is Cody Thomas. Hitless in four at bats yesterday.
Smith leads off first with two down to the inning. Next pitch is outside. Pretty easy to give up on that pitch right there. Started on the edge of the plate with the spin. You know it's going to finish well off the plate. The 2 1. That's a strike. Slider misses outside. 3 2, two out, runner on first. A lot of movement in the infield. Hitters got to stay focused on the pitch. Tyler Soderstrom up next. Step off throw to first, and he dives back in safely. Back to work, 3 2 now. So now two on and two outs. Got now the left fielder, Tyler Soderstrom. There's a 1-1. That one missed. After the loss yesterday afternoon where they really didn't ever get things going on offense, I think this is an important opportunity right here to pick up an early run. The 2-1. Line drive. That's a fair ball inside third. Here comes the runner. Now a long throw home. Run scores easily, and it's 1 0. Big swing of the bat right there to give him the lead. That was clutch. Takes an inside pitch and just fillets it over there to left field. And that's all he had to do is get something to the outfield grass to push that run across. Now batting Tyler Wade. Hit it well, but fly it out to the deepest part of the outfield his first time. Swing and a miss, and that's strike two. And a ball and two strikes. Swing and a miss. Got him to go up the ladder for the K. Two men left stranded, but they do push across one. We go to the bottom of inning number two. The Aviators out front here, one to nothing. Back here in the desert, this is Kyle Lewis. The center fielder. Kyle Lewis. The wind and the pitch. And a good eye there. Just off the outside edge. Fouls one away and now three and two. The big lefty turns, kicks, deals. Cuts and misses. It's a strikeout. He had him out in front, which isn't easy to do against a hitter like this, known for using the entire field. Just couldn't sit back long enough on that one. Yeah, the batter now, Diego Castillo. Pitch misses inside, and that's ball two. And now the lefty grips one to right, and there are two down. It was all over that fastball right there. I tell you what, that if he gets it. under it just by a that's fraction of an good. inch or a little bit more, that's way back. Beer. And next is the designated hitter, Seth Beer. The pitch. Just oh, oh. missed.
Swing and a miss. Two and two now. And a swing and a miss. And that's that. Out of the third inning. Leading now it's the second the baseman, Avengers. Jonah Bride. The, Jonah Bride. the lefty ready and a 1-1. That's down and in. Well, these guys showing great discipline at the plate, and patience definitely seems to be the name of their game in this one. He's only given up one run, but the starter's pitch count is starting to get up there, and that might be the best news yet for this offense. Foul ball, another 2-2 upcoming. Good eye right there. You know, sometimes all it takes is getting to the next arm before an offense does any damage, and that might be the case today. Swings through it for the K. Couldn't catch up to the heater. The bat. The and first now the first baseman, baseman Jordan, Jordan Diaz. Diaz. One down, base is empty. Swing and a pop-up. Hager drifts towards it. And there's two down. The catch number 28, Manny Pena. Manny Pena will hit next. The 2 1. Good eye right there. And it's filled up. The wind of the pitch. Fly ball to right. Smith settles underneath it. And that'll do it. here at the ballpark bottom of the go. inning Fourth here's the left fielder Dominic no left Canzone the wind of the pitch swing and a high fly ball out there towards left field Soderstrom makes the catch one away that again the catcher PJ and now PJ Higgins Kicks and deals. Oh. Two balls, one straight. This one in the air center field. That one gets down for a hit. So a man aboard now with one away. Batting the second baseman. Man at first with one gone. Here's the second baseman, Jake Hager. And that is cut on and missed. And the count, one and two. Higgins leads off first with one away. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. Another one, two. On the ground to short. Dives, but it kicks off his glove. He doesn't have a throw, and they come away without an out. Really nice job of two-strike hitting and that at bat. I'm amazed at his ability to pull his hands inside and actually square that baseball off. That pitch was off the plate. So tough to get the barrel to anything in there. Here's Jairo Munoz. That one misses. Two and one.
Runners at first and second with one gone. Out of line, out towards center. In one hops off the wall, should be extra bases. The relay pulls into third safely as two runs score on the play. Just a very nice approach and swing right there to use the big part of the field. Everything was on time. He stayed balanced through the entire swing and just launched that one into center. Stepping in, Buddy Kennedy. 0 for 1, he grounded out in his first at bat. 2-2 Two -two down. Battling here as he fouls it away. The 2-2. Two -two. This ball's chopped on the ground. Smith. There for the out. Runner scores from third. Now it's the right fielder, Payton Smith. Rolled out to second in his first at bat. Two outs. That one is absolutely belted. Butler going back, back some more. And caught on the warning track. Not quite enough behind that one. Three runs for them here, and they move ahead. Three innings complete. The Aces with the lead, three to one. Back here at Chase Field, start of the fourth. Down the third baseman, Kevin Smith. The 1-1. One -one. Well, the offense has gotten going, and a pitcher wants to go out there and have a real quick inning, get those guys back into the dugout so those bats can stay hot. Next oh. one misses. Two and two. Meanwhile, activity in the bullpen. Peter Solomon up and loosening in the pen. Two and two. That one off the bad part of the bat, just a lazy fly ball. He's got it, and there's one down. That's a really nice play, ranging back into the outfield for that catch. We all know those can be a little tricky, especially if the wind's swirling around out there. And now the DH, Zach Geloff. He struck out swinging at his first at bat. The pitch. Got him swinging. Had him out front for strike three. Really love the pitch sequence right there. I'm telling you what, pitcher and catcher on the same page right now. Lawrence Butler, the next to hit. His first at bat was a strikeout. He's someone that you might not describe as having elite level speed, but he can absolutely move, and it is a factor in his game. Ball to strike, the pitch. And there's a the ball. Boog, this guy's definitely a plus runner, but what I love about him is that he goes all out every single time, never takes a break. It's guys like that, even though they don't have the elite speed, the fact that they're consistent with it, they make moves on the base paths. Higgins makes the play, and that's out number three. Offense held in check there to the bottom of inning number four now. The Aces have the lead, three to one. Welcome back. Ready to go. go. Bottom Lewis. four. Here's the center fielder, Kyle Lewis. Kyle. Lewis. And a pitch. Swings and misses. It's a ball and two strikes. Struck him out looking. Here's the shortstop at the play. Diego Castillo. Castillo. Here's a 1-1. That's a little bit low. Two balls. One strike.
There's a strike. The wide to kick the pitch. Ripped on a line. Butler makes the play. Two down. It's important. If he can go one, two, three here, will be a very positive sign for him and for his team. Now it's the DH. Seth Beer went down on strikes his first time through. Kicks and fires. And a swing and a miss. And good work there as he gets a one, two, three. We're back, and there's a new arm on the mound to start the fifth. Peter Solomon. And this is an important part of this game. Tight score and still a lot of outs to get. So they're looking for a big outing out of him right here to get some critical outs. Peter. Now it's going to be Cody Thomas. And down on strikes he goes. Now one away. Well, oftentimes that's the pitch he's trying to set up, the curveball. He'll lean now on it pretty heavily, so you've got to be expecting it. Look for it and sell out so you don't miss it when you get it. And now the count, one and two after the swing and the miss. Pitching has been pretty dominant in this one, but you got to be careful, not working with too big a lead. They could get right back in this ball game if you're not careful. Off the plate inside. Two balls, two strikes. Got him looking. Back to back strikeouts. So the lineup flips the over to the batter now. Tyler Wade. Tyler Wade. Two down, nobody on. Hammered down the right side, but foul. Stays alive. Right-handed reliever. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. The big right, he strikes out the side. Impeccable command in that one. Three batters, three strikeouts. That's electric stuff out there on the mound. And welcome back. Now the left fielder, Dominic Canzone. The 1-1. And that one wrapped foul. Left-hand batter waits. Hacks and misses. It's a strikeout. Well, that's always the key to effective pitching is getting ahead in the count. And as a pitcher, it really allows you to start expanding the zone. Guys become defensive, and all of a sudden, for the hitter, that plate starts to get really wide. And what happens is, because of the pressure, you end up committing to a pitch as a batter before you recognize what it is, and that's what leads to the strikeout. A rare three-ball count here. He's been throwing strikes all day. Got to be ready to hit if you're in the box. And here it comes. Gets the call. Three and two now. So it was bumpy in the early going for the lefty, but he settled into a really nice groove. The punch out there, two gone. Back to back strikeouts to start the frame, and that's now three in a row. Yeah, he's really settling in and getting a feel for his pitches, throwing them where he wants to right now. So we'll see how long he can keep this streak going. And a 1-1. One -one. 
And downstairs. Out to short. Wait. On the run. Sends it over to first. And that is the inning. Back here in the desert. All right, we go to the top half of inning number six. And now it's going to be Jonah Bride. That one lifted to left. And there's one down. The bat. The first base. And here's the first baseman, Jordan Diaz. Swing and a high fly ball left field. Kenzone pulls it down, and there's two gone. Now bad. Catch it. Manny. Manny Pena yeah. now at the plate. In the dirt. Gets to it on to first. In time, the 2 3 strikeout ends the inning. So they go quietly there to the bottom of the sixth inning. The Aces on top here, three to one. Bottom of the six. Here's the third baseman, Jairo Munoz. The one two. On the ground, right side. And that chance handled. Fires to first on the run. One up, one down. The bat. The first base. Buddy Kennedy. And here is Buddy Kennedy. It's interesting. He plays kind of a, a power spot defensively, but runs pretty well. So when you're looking at that position, you're not expecting someone that has maybe above average speed, but he does. That one's in there, and it's one and two. And I think that skill set really upgrades the position because when you have that kind of speed, it makes the whole team that much better. Started after it, tried to hold up. Now look to first, and he went around. Rule the swing. It's almost like he's telling the guys in the bullpen, stand down, I got this. And now here is Paven Smith. Goes down looking. Back here at the ballpark, top of inning number seven. Now the third baseman, Kevin Smith. Kevin Smith. Next pitch in the dirt. And a count two and one. Next offering is foul back. Instead of letting the hitter get his arms extended, tied him up a little bit, slightly up, slightly in. Can't connect on the curveball, struck him out. A big first out here in the seventh via the punch out. Yeah, it just does so much to change the outlook of an important inning like this. When you got the leadoff hitter so critical in setting the table when you got a tight game like this. So a strikeout really puts them on their heels. Next is the designated hitter, Zach Geloff. Here's a 1-1. To the right side, Hager. Fires over to first. And two away to start the seventh. Now bad at it. Right fielder. 
Lauren. Lawrence Butler digs in now. That to right. Smith brings it in for the third out. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the traditional seventh inning stretch. Pitching change here, number 38. And we all know about his slider. It's just filthy, man. And one of the better ones now, in the game, I'd say. Spin eight. rate's very high, number and it just breaks a ton. JP. And now the center fielder, Kyle Lewis, the who's 0 for 2 the with a pair of strikeouts. Kyle Lewis. The 1 1. That one Good missed. One. Activity in the bullpen. Danny Jimenez is loosening up. This would be his first appearance for the club. Pat getting cranked up as well. The count two and one. Bounding ball here. Rolls foul. At the belt and fires. And it skips in the dirt. This is a really good feeling for a hitter. At this point in the ball game, you know that they don't want to walk you. So you're going to get a pitch to hit. You just better not miss it. That's three. Got him. And one away in the bottom of the seventh. Third time he struck out in this one, and definitely an individual performance you want to flush. He just That's hasn't looked very comfortable up there. Just one of those days. But when you're still winning the ball game, at least you can focus on doing your part to maintain that lead and getting that W. And down on strikes he goes, and there's two away. Two out, space is empty. Now, Seth Beer. Seth Beer. Ball to strike. Swings over the top of that one. Gonna really need to hang in there with that front side against this left-handed breaking ball. Got him looking. And a nice inning of work there as he sets him down. One, two, three. Here comes Mark Melanson. He's got a wicked breaking ball in his arsenal, and it's definitely one of his go-to pitches when he needs an out. Here's the center fielder, Cody Thomas. The center fielder, Cody Thomas. Pitch misses there. Three and one now. And a swing and a miss there. Good plate appearance there. Able to take the walk. What a battle. It's not always easy laying off a 3 2 pitch. And I tell you what, he earned that walk. Tyler. Here's the left fielder, Tyler Soderstrom. That hits the dirt, and it's two and one. Well, with the amount of pitches that can end up in the dirt, a good secondary lead doesn't have to get away from the catcher, but if you're anticipating based off the trajectory, get yourself in the scoring position. Tyler Wade waiting for a turn at the plate. And a 3-1 on the way. On the ground, right side. Hager over to second. And that is a rally killer. Two gone in the eighth. So digging in, Tyler Wade. Three and two. Payoff pitch. Keeps the at bat going with a foul ball. Right hander kicks deals. 
Swing and a miss, and he is down on strikes for the third straight at bat. Back here at Chase Field at the play. Dominic Canzone. Dominic Canzone. The lefty ready and a 1 1. A little out front there as he swings through it. And now it's even up. Left hand hitter waits. Spoils that one and it remains 2 and 2. Just Great missed. Hit. Really good take, especially with two strikes. Swings through that, and it's a strikeout. Looks like he's picked up right where he left off. Just couldn't catch up on the low 90s fastball right there, and that's a result of a good job of changing speeds. Off-speed pitch on the one before, then sped him up. Pitchers that don't throw real hard have to rely on location and mixing up the speeds. That wasn't the best location with the fastball, but clearly that wasn't the pitch he was looking for at the plate either. Close, but called a ball. And now three balls and a strike. Swing and a miss. The pitch. Swing and a slow roller. And it goes just foul. And he deals. Swings and misses. It's a strikeout. Couldn't catch up to the heater. Well, right now he's in cruise control, no, autopilot, no, just no, dominating no. these hitters. It doesn't look like it's a fun no, at bat. No. And all of a sudden, you become in awe of this guy on the mound. Somebody's got to break this thing up. That's five straight strikeouts. Got to put a ball in play. Here's a 1 1. Line drive and foul ball. And a 1 2. Here's a rip to short, but he's there for the third out. New pitcher now, Austin Adams. He comes in with a chance for his second save of the season. Austin Adams. So digging in, Jonah Bryan. The second base, Jonah Bryan. The 1-1. One, one. Foul back our way, and that's out of play. Jackson swing. Now it appeal to first. And he couldn't hold back. He's rung up on strikes. So up next, Jordan Diaz. Righty delivers. So a foul ball makes it one and two. Fouls that off to the left, and we'll do it again. And a swing and a miss. Down on strikes, and now two gone. This is definitely what a team likes to see out of their closer. Come in and just destroy all hope. First two batters, two strikeouts. See if he can strike out the side. And now the catcher comes up to him. Manny Pena. Pitches in the dirt. Now two balls and a strike. And 
that's a little bit high. Pressure mountain right here with the tying run and the on deck circle. He's got to find the strike zone. The 3 1. That one down the line. Oh, great stop. Fires to first. And what a play. Ball game. What an exciting finish to this game. An amazing play right there. It's hard for the fans to go home. They want more. They're not ready to leave and head to their cars. But an outstanding job to keep entertaining all the way to the end. And your final 3-1 for Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show. I'm John Chomby. Thanks for joining us. For the victorious Aces, three runs on three hits, no errors, and they left no runners on base. For Las Vegas, one run on three hits, no errors, they left three men on base. Time of the ball game, two hours and 41 minutes. Thank you for joining us here this afternoon, and we remind you to please drive home safely.